Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to today's second part of the Boston Public Facilities Commission. I'm going to turn it over to TT. Thank you, Chair Craven. Good morning again, Commissioners. Uh, again, this meeting is being recorded, broadcast live. Colleen, if you would go ahead and conduct the roll call. Thank you, TT. Participants, please unmute your device and confirm your presence when I call your name, beginning roll call with the Commission. Catherine Craven, Chair. Present. Larry Mamoli, Commissioner. Present. Donald Wright, Commissioner. Present. TT Lee, Legal Advisor. Present. Catherine Pendleton, Article Clerk. Present. Next with the Mayor's Office of Housing, Sheila Dillon. Present. Thank you. James Smith, Senior Environmental Compliance Office Manager. Present. Teresa Strachilla, Program Manager. Present. Julio Pillier, Development Officer. Present. I'll read for the record the remainder of the individuals who are in attendance but will not be presenting. Attendees, you don't need to unmute your device. Elizabeth Feltner, Rosemary Chung, Shani Fletcher, and James McDonough. And this concludes roll call. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. For this portion of the meeting, we have Sheila Dillon, Chief and Director of the Mayor's Office of Housing. MOH has four votes on the agenda for today. Vote number one is being presented by James Smith, Senior Environmental Compliance Manager for the Real Estate Management Sales Division. This is a request for conveyance to Craig Spears for vacant land located at unnumbered parcel on St. Jim Street in Roxbury. Their purchase price is for $5,000. James, if you please present vote number one. Thank you, TT. Good morning, Commissioners. I'm here requesting PFC approval for conveyance to Craig Spears for the parcel identified in the vote package in the Roxbury neighborhood of Boston. MOH conducted a public process that resulted in, in the developer designation in this con conveyance vote request. The noti notification was uh, mailed in May and June of 2023 to inform of MOH's intent to issue an RFP for the parcel. The request for proposals was issued on May 30th, 2023, advertised in the State Central Register, Boston Herald, and City Record. One proposal was received in response to the RFP on July 3rd and was 2023 and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria uh, with the offer price uh, being the appraised value of the land. PFC voted to approve the tentative developer designation for, uh, for Craig Spears on October 18th, 2023. And the designation was advertised in the city record on November 20th and 27th, 2023. Vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and this vote request. Also provided handouts related to this vote request, which are displayed on the screen. Uh, one is a locust map showing a small triangular parcel question. Second is uh, aerial and street view of the parcel. Mr. Spears uh, will use the uh, parcel just for additional yard space. And in, if, in summary, if PFC uh, approves, approves the vote request, it will result in the following public benefits, return of a vacant property and MLH's inventory for over 70 years, back to productive use in the tax rolls, and generates uh, $5,000 in initial revenues from the sale. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions from the commissioners? No question, more of a comment. Uh, this is one of the few times the appraised value is less than the assessed value, and where I think the city made a mistake assessing it that much because that parcel really wasn't worth 12000 Anyway, otherwise, it's a good, great to get rid of it. Good point. Send me no questions. Good job, Jamie. Motion to approve? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Thank you. Thanks, Vote Jamie. Number one. Vote number one is hereby approved. Vote number two is also being presented by James Smith. This is for conveyance to David Hassman for uh, vacant land also located at Unnumbered Parcel on Sacum Street in Roxbury. The purchase price is $150,000. James, if you please present your vote request. Thank you. I'm here to request PFC approval for conveyance to David Hassman for the uh, parcel identified in the vote package in the Roxbury neighborhood of Boston. MOH conducted a public process that resulted in the developer designation and this conveyance vote request. 
the notification mailed in January and May of 2023 to inform of MOH's intent to issue an RFP for the parcel. Request for proposals was issued on May 30th, 2023, advertised in the State Central Register, Boston Herald, and City Record. One proposal was received in response to the RFP on July 3rd, 2023, and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria. The offer price uh, is for the, was for the appraised value at the time of the release of the RFP. IFC uh, voted to approve the tentative developer designation for David Hassman on October 18th, 2023, and the designation was advertised in the city record on November 20th and 27th, 2023. The vote package includes a comprehensive memo about the project and this PFC vote request. Also provided handouts related to this request, which are displayed on the screen. First again is a locust map showing a small, irregularly shaped parcel. And the second is a uh, aerial image and street view. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Hassman uh, is proposing to uh, use the parcel for additional square footage of yard space and to add an addition to his existing home, which abuts the land. Uh, Mr. Hassman has also uh, agreed to uh, maintain the healthy uh, mature tree on the lot and not to disturb a uh, historic uh, wall that's bordering the parcel. Summary, if uh, PFC approves this vote request, will result in the following public benefits, return, return of a vacant property and MOH's inventory for over 57 years back to productive use in the tax rolls, and the sale will generate $150,000 in initial revenue from the sale. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions from the commissioners? No questions. No, no questions. Just comment. I'm excited that he's going to uh, maintain that tree canopy. Very important there, Jenny. Thank you. You know, that's actually a great accomplishment to get. Uh, motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes, have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vote number two is hereby approved. Vote number three is being presented by Teresa Stratilla, Program Manager for Bro Boston Division of MOH. This is a request for amendment to the vote of January 18, 2023, to extend the tentative designation intent to sell period from 12 to 18 months to Mass Liberation Incorporated for vacant land located at 190, 190A, and 192 Blue Hill Avenue, Roxbury. Teresa, if you please present vote number three. Thank you, TT. Good morning, commissioners. I'm here requesting PFC approval of the extension of the tentative developer designation of Mass Liberation Inc., hereafter known as Mass Liberation, for the parcels identified in the vote package in the Roxbury section of Boston. As background, prior to the developer designation in January 2023, MOH conducted an extensive public process. MOH held meetings in July, August, and November of 2020 to discuss with community members the development of these parcels as part of the Blue Hill Avenue Action Plan, a holistic approach to the disposition and development of city-owned vacant parcels along the Blue Hill Avenue Court. Community members supported the issuance of a request for proposals. An RFP was issued on April 25th, 2022, and advertised in the State Central Register, the Boston Herald, and the City Record. One development team applied to the RFP for the sites identified in this vote package and was determined to meet the eligibility criteria. MOA held a community meeting to review all eligible applicants responding to the RFP in September 2022. Support from community members for this proposal was strong. PFC approved the tentative developer designation of Mass Liberation Inc. on January 18th, 2023. Since their initial designation vote, Mass Liberation has continued to engage with community members about the site design. Open space funding was not offered as part of the RFP for these parcels, so Mass Liberation has required additional time to fundraise and finalize their design and budget for this project. Mass Liberation has applied for and secured $100,000 in grassroots program funding toward this project, secured in spring of 2023. Mass Liberation was also invited to apply to the FY24 Community Preservation Act funding round. The Community Preservation Committee approved a preliminary vote to recommend funding for a slate of applicants 
which includes mass liberation, during their, reading, their meeting on January 22nd. The committee plans to take a full roll call, vote, roll call vote on these recommendations during their next meeting, after which those recommendations will be advanced to, the city, to city council for consideration. While fundraising continues, mass liberation is in the process of incorporating community feedback into the final site design, which will allow for budget finalization. MOH is requesting a six month extension of mass liberations tentative developer designation to allow the development team additional time to finalize their site design and budget and secure funds for the project. MOH expects to return to PFC for a conveyance vote by June to make possible the development of this important community resource. The vote package includes a comprehensive vote memo, uh, or comprehensive memo on the project and the PFC vote request. I have also provided four slides related to this vote, uh, which are displayed on the screen. The first shows an aerial map of the parcels. The second is a satellite view of the parcels. The third shows the street view of the parcels. And the fourth shows the preliminary design for the site, which includes raised garden beds for community use, a short walking path through a wooded area, and a stage and lawn for community events. In summary, if PFC approves the vote request to extend the tentative developer designation by six months, it will lead to the following public benefits. It will preserve a long vacant property as a community open space for a neighborhood with limited green space. In addition, the city will avoid approximately $1,856 in annual maintenance costs and return this property to productive use after more than 32 years in our inventory. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Any questions? A motion? Give me a motion to approve. Sorry. Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. The ayes have it. Thank you. Vote number three is hereby approved. Vote number four is being presented by Julio Pillier, Housing Development Officer with the Neighborhood Housing Development Division of MOH. This is a request for amendment to the vote of January 18, 2023, to extend the tentative designation and time to sell period from 12 to 24 months to MTK Development LLC. This is for five vacant land parcels located on Blue Hill Avenue in Roxbury. Leo, if you would please present vote number four. Thank you, TT. Uh, good morning, commissioners. I'm here requesting PFC approval of a 12 month extension of the tenant developer designation of MTK development for the parcels identified in this vote package uh, in the neighborhood of Roxbury. Uh, so, PFC initially voted to approve the 12 month, ex uh, 12 -month developer designation of MTK development in January 18th, of 2023. Uh, enclosed is a comprehensive memo um, detailing the process and designation background submitted alongside this vote, this vote request. So um, some of the accomplishments since the original designation. So the development team has been working closely with the MOH team to continue to advance their drawings and the project financing. Um, the MTK development did apply for MOH's annual funding round in September of 2023. Um, they have also finalized their schematic design phase um, the developer has submitted um, their design plans to the Inspectional Services Department um, for review and subsequent action by Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, they do have a um, ZBay hearing date pending. Um, we expect that to be in March of 2024. Um, the developer has also received EPDA board approval as of January 2024. Um, the project continues to receive significant community support, including letters from state uh, representatives, uh, local officials, um, the Grove Hall Trust, the Roxbury Community, the, the Roxbury Strategic Oversight Committee, um, abutters, and numerous residents. Um, and the developer continues to engage local business owners and com um, for commercial opportunities on the ground floor of, of this space. Some tasks to be completed um, during the extension period. Um, so we do expect this team to complete their designs and construction drawings for review and approval by MOH, uh, the BPDA, Boston Water Resort, um, Public Works, and other agencies required. Um, 
the project will obtain ZBA approval, um, receive all permits, sign offs, and building permits, um, finalize your budget, and receive MOH, mass housing, and construction lender commitments. Um, and we expect uh, that MOH will return to PFC for a conveyance vote in the fall of 2024. Um, I have included some slides for PFC. So this is just a um, parcel map of the five of the five sites. This is an aerial view of the site um, along Blueville Avenue. This is a uh, a snapshot of a preliminary rendering of the front of the building, and then um, on the left hand side we have a breakdown of the current programming. So they are proposing to build 18 income restricted home ownership units ranging between 80 and 100 percent of AMI. Um, they are offering a number of different bedroom sizes. That's um, partly based on community feedback, but also on the desire to offer housing to um, different folks. So you have one bedroom units, two bedroom units, three bedroom units to accommodate um, those different size households. Um, and then additionally, they are proposing to offer some ground floor, ground floor commercial space and community flex space as well. And these are just uh, preliminary renderings of the um, front of the building on the right hand side and then the rear of the building um, on the uh, on the left hand side. Thank you. Uh, if PFC approves the vote request, um, uh, the, the following um, will result in the following public benefits. So the creation of 18 income restricted home ownership units, affordable ground floor commercial space, uh, for local entrepreneurs, uh, the revitalization of five vacant um, parcels long held in the city's inventory, and the promotion of economic growth and opportunities for first time home buyers and um, folks seeking for uh, commercial space. I'm here to answer any questions that you may have, and thank you. Thank you so much. Any questions from the commission? Uh, no questions. Great project. Very no questions. Great project, guys. Motion to approve. Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes, I have it. Thank you. Thank you. Vote number four is hereby approved. This concludes the agenda for MOH for today's meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn this meeting? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor of adjourning this meeting? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.